Dear friends, I greet you wherever you are listening to me this moment. I think we have food for thought and we have some issues to discuss which I found very important. Um, relevantly, everybody in this world is important. And every Nigerian is important. Most importantly, Biafrans are very important. Those who believe in Biafra nation are very, very much important. I value them and I esteemed them. Highly esteemed them. So you are welcome to my channel, Biafra Universal TV. This moment, the issue I want us to deliberate on, and I, I want your comment. But when you are making your comment, don't insult anybody. Make your comment constructively, based on what is on the table we are discussing. How do you think that it should be to avoid problem or to avoid confusion in the country, especially in the Southeast. Now, the President and Commander-in-Chief of Nigeria, of General Armed Forces, um, Brother Tinibu is now planning to go to southeast, precisely Igbo land, because of the protracted death that has taken place and people are still dying. Uh, politicians are still dying in Ibo land. Uh, majorly, on the issue of Dr. Emmanuel Iwanyang, his death, and um, the recent one of few hours ago, and that is Senator Ifani Oba. So, um, do you think that um, President of Nigeria supposed to go for this journey to visit Igbo land and pay condolence visit to them because these are prominent Igbos from Southeast that have left this world to the great beyond where terrorist does not exist. So, what do you think in your heart? And somebody may ask me, based on what I'm asking this question, and based on what should he travel to Igbo land? Yes, it's a good question. Let me dissect it. Number one, based on he is the president of Nigeria and Biafra land have not, Biafra nation have not existed. They have not been separated from Nigeria. And these people who are dying are the people who magnet so much to Tinibu to make sure that Southeast did not separate from Nigeria. That these people are the people who have masterminded that Biafrans will not leave Nigeria. That they believe in one Nigeria and um, 
Nigeria is an indivisible entity, you know, in their own interpretation that nothing will divide Nigeria. Okay? So, and don't forget that most of the politicians today in uh, Tinibu's dispensation are the ones that the Buhari have used in the Southeast as Igbo politicians during his tenure for eight years to destroy Igbo land and to destroy the indigenous people of Biafra. So these are the people that Tinibu now elected as his FCT minister, as ministers, as Senate president of Nigeria, you know, and many more. So, being that Biafra is still in Nigeria, all right? It has not been fully restored. Did you think that there is anything wrong in Tinibu traveling to Igbo land to pay condolences to the uh, uh, politicians that died? Or do you feel that he don't suppose? And what is your reason why you feel like Tinibu don't supposed to try to set his foot into Biafra land or into Southeast or Igbo land? So, two, let me react to the second question. Again, why? Or why not? So, should he travel to Igbo land and leave Asarok for condolency visit? So, one is this. Nigeria, there is no peace in Nigeria now. Hungary is killing people. No local currency. Terrorists are in action. They are at work in every corner corner of Nigeria. And at the same time, there is a big saga now on ground. Which Tinibu is not paying attention to it. Such as the nationwide protest. He want to quench it like fire by all means. And he is doing it. The views and the zealousness of the people who want to embark on this nationwide protest in Nigeria. Their views have gone down from the way it was boiling before. And uh, I will quickly tell you that it may not take place, that protest may not take place because Northern leaders and elders have made it clear that count them out of the protests against the Tinibu's government. That nationwide protest is going to bring an untold hardship in addition to the one that is on ground. Now, do you think that Tinibu is supposed to pay much attention on what he was brought in to do in Asorok? Or you think that he should be flying everywhere from um, one dead body to another? visiting them and abandoned his domestic responsibilities 
Because as I'm talking with you now, many are dying. But he have not to for once ask why and what is the solution next to tackle this incessant debt. You understand? So, and when you put these issues on ground, such as now, let's look at another part that is very crucial. Mother Nam the can also release. God forbid, if Mazen Nam the Kano dies in the DSS custody, did you think that Tinibu will go to Abia State after Ukui Bake to pay condolence visit to the Mazen Nam the Kano's people? Do you think he will do that? He will go to Mazenam the Colonel's father's house to pay condolence message uh, visit if prevent your mother Mazenam the Colonel dies in the DSS custody. I'm just asking. So if he will not do that. If he cannot pay condolence message on Mazen and the Kano issue, God forbid that anything happen to him, then what is motivating him now to go to Igbo land to pay condolence visit for Ifan Yoba and Emmanuel Iwanyam? When you look into what I'm saying properly, you must come up with something very significant. So now, Mazen Namdekano is Biafra himself. So Mazen Namdekano have problem with the Nigeria. Nigerians, Nigeria government, headed by Tinibu, is holding Mazen Namdekano captive. Mazen Namdekano is being held hostage by federal government of Nigeria currently in the DSS custody for over three years now for no offense committed after he must have been discharged and acquitted and um, they decided to hold him back inside that place and bring in unnecessary issues putting on him as an allegation. So, just to make sure that he didn't come out from that place. And those who have died are one of the major supporters of Tinibu and Buhari to make sure that Mazen Amde cannot die in the DSS custody so that the issue of Biafra agitation and Biafra freedom will die completely. What do you have to say? Because it's like your enemy, your arch enemy, coming to your house that he learned that your child died and he come to pay a condolence visit. Meanwhile, he was the one who killed your child. How do you look at it? So, now when you look at the whole thing, basically, on the truth, you see that Nigerian militaries have issued warning that they are going to demonstrate brutality and animalistic attitude on Nigerians 
when they come out for mass protest. They will not go the way they come. And uh, Tinibu supported them without wasting time. Then, and there is no subsidy on ground. When I say subsidy, is that we are all human beings created by God. Whether if you are a president or you are a governor or a senator, you are not better than anybody who is walking in the street or does not have a house to sleep. Because when you are counting census, you don't remove those people who are begging in the street, the blind, the feeble, needed, the weak. So you did not remove them from the census. And this is practically the truth. So if you can put them in the census as indigenous people of Nigeria, irrespective of their um, poor status, then you can now as well, you count to yourself as one of the Nigerian indigenous person or people. So also those less privileged ones are being counted. It's one one head before God. All of us are equal. But before you, because you have ordinary paper, you stole from the course of the federal government. Now, it swells up your head and make you as if your own one head is divided into 100. You have 100 heads. Meanwhile, it is one. So, which is not ought to be so. Why I'm saying this is that the crying of the poor masses from Igbo land and Biafra have become too much and nobody like to take things uh, for granted anymore. Looking at where we are coming from and today, this is where we are. We are being manipulated, tribalized, frustrated, and removed from the government of Nigeria. So, is Tinibu coming to South to East as a Nigerian president coming to pay condolence visit to Biafra government? I want to understand. I want to know. Should Tinibu suspend his coming to Southeast or he should proceed in his plan to come down? Because any moment from now, he will be in Southeast, except if there is something strange that happens. So, my listeners, I want to say to this juncture that President Tinibu supposed to ratify the crisis going on in Nigeria because charity begins at home. He should make peace with the Nigerians. It's not only Biafra people that Tinibu is owing an explanation. Both House and Yoruba and the other people in Nigeria have been maltreated, cheated, and dehumanized by Tinibu and his administration. So I don't think within me is my own opinion because one opinion is not bad for him. So, Tinibu is supposed to start sweeping from his room to outside 
not to sweep from outside to inside the room. So he want to cover all the stinking issues that are on ground. And now, coming for condolences, I think it's wrong. Let him make peace first. Making that peace will start with recognizing or by recognizing that Mazen Amdekano is a man and is a human being. He is supposed to acknowledge that his journey to Southeast is useless because the presence of Mazen Amdekano is needed outside the DSS custody. So whatever he feels that he will do or he can do to appease Ibos from further anger is to release Mazen Amdekano. Period. So when he released Mazen Amdekano, then Ibos will now be able to pay attention or to listen to whatever he has to say. But you refuse to count one and you are counting ten. You are not a good accountant. We start from the cradle. Then we clamp up. So, what I'm saying this moment, on the mind of the freedom lovers and the mind of uh, Biafran agitators, I think within me, my opinion is good. You will sample your own opinion on this issue. Let Tinibu sit down in Asorok and stop celebrating and gallivanting because he is not a president yet. If he is a president, he will listen to his people and he will like to solve the problem of Nigerians. And those people that are innocently locked up in the prisons, DSS custody, police stations, he would like to know the offense they committed why they are there. And those people that is a must that they must be released will be his priority and prerogative to see them out of their custody or prison. But I tell you that since it enabled a Zoom office, he never remember any poor person in Nigeria. He never listened to the complaints and pains of the masses. On the other hand, permit me to say that since he assumed office as the president of Nigeria, he has never achieved a single thing, just one thing. Significantly, you can see that his presence in Asarok is an awkward predicament because if both Yorubas and Aosas and um, Igbos and everyone in Nigeria can appreciate the hurdles and the criminalities and terrorism, terrorisms that went on during Buhari's administration for eight years, rapists and kidnappers, if Nigerians are appreciating Buhari for accomplishing those dirty activities, that Buhari's regime is better than Tinibu's own. So automatically, your visa to Somalia must be very ready because Nigeria shall soon be consumed. Because the consumation have 
started and nothing will be left unmelted with the fervent heat of the fury and angers of Nigerians. So, in my saying, this moment, it cannot be overemphasized that Biafra is not part of Nigeria. For your information. And why I'm saying this is this. No government that have ever come in Nigeria and pay attention to South East or pay attention to Igbo people. No government, no president, because Igbos are not allowed to produce a president. The presidents of Nigeria always come from North and Yoruba land, that is Southwest. So automatically, Igbos are being considered to have been defeated during the Civil War, 6770. And this is why Nigeria government have decided to treat them as a war treaty. So they, 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 they are slaves to Nigeria government. And this is why cardinally this moment when you look around in Tinibu's administration you will find no Igbo man in any reasonable position in this Tinibu administration. Fellow Biafrans, I want you to understand that truth is always bitter, but no matter how bitter it is, we must tell it, we must speak it out. So, since Biafrans are not part of Nigeria, or Igbos are not part of Nigeria, I don't think that there is any need for Tinibu to come to Biafra land or Igbo land for any condolency because those people, those politicians that are dead or that have died, they are not Igbos, they are not Biafrans. They are one Nigeria agitators. One Nigeria beggars. Unity beggars. They want to remain one Nigeria. So that they will return their positions as senators and governors and continue the marginalization, the, sabo the, sabo the sabotage they sabotage Biafra land and Biafrans. They are saboteurs. And as an Igbo president and the senator Ifanyoba. All right? They are saboteurs. And many of them, there in the Nigeria House of Assembly and uh, Name them that are politicians from Igbo land. They are saboteurs. So they are not to be our friends. So I will advise Tinibu to sit down in a rock, control and command his country, Nigeria, so that it will not be as if he was disappointed for visiting um, Igbo land because I don't think it is necessary. Igbos are not Nigerians. Biafrans are not Nigerians. So I leave you here.
Thank you so much.